Guangzhou, Wikipedia Audio Guangzhou or, Mandarin pronunciation, traditionally Romanist as Canton, is the capital and most populous city of the province of Guangdong in southern China. Located on the Pearl River about 120 km north-northwest of Hong Kong and 145 km north of Macau, Guangzhou has a history of over 2,200 years and was a major terminus of the Maritime Silk Road and continues to serve as a major port and transportation hub today, as well as one of China's three largest cities. Guangzhou is situated at the heart of the most populous built-up metropolitan area in mainland China, an area that extends into the neighboring cities of Foshan, Dongguan, and Shenzhen, forming one of the largest urban agglomerations on the planet. Administratively, the city holds sub-provincial status, and is one of China's five national central cities. In 2015 the city's administrative area was estimated to have a population of 13,501,100. Guangzhou is ranked as an alpha global city. In recent years, there has been a rapidly increasing number of foreign residents and immigrants from Southeast Asia, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, and especially from Africa. This has led to it being dubbed the capital of the third world. The migrant population from other provinces of China in Guangzhou was 40% of the city's total population in 2008. Together with Shanghai, Beijing, and Shenzhen, Guangzhou has one of the most expensive real estate markets in China. Guangzhou has a comparatively recent history of two centuries related to its importance for foreign trade. Long the only Chinese port accessible to most foreign traders, the city fell to the British during the First Opium War. No longer enjoying a monopoly after the war, it lost trade to other ports such as Hong Kong and Shanghai, but continued to serve as a major entrepot. In modern commerce, Guangzhou is best known for its annual Canton Fair, the oldest and largest trade fair in China. For the three consecutive years 2013-2015, Forbes ranked Guangzhou as the best commercial city on the Chinese mainland. Names Guangzhou is the pinyin romanization of the Chinese name, which was simplified in mainland China to in the 1950s. The name of the city is taken from the ancient Guang province, after it had become the prefecture's seat of government, which is how some other Chinese cities, including Hangzhou, Suzhou, and Fuzhou got their names. The character or which also appears in the names of the provinces Guangdong and Guangxi, together called the Liang Guang means broad or expansive and refers to the intention to dispense imperial grace broadly in the region with the founding of County of Guangzhen in Han Dynasty. Before acquiring its current name, the town was known as Penyu, a name still borne by one of Guangzhou's districts not far from the main city. The origin of the name is still uncertain with eleven various explanations being offered, including that it may have referred to two local mountains. The city has also sometimes been known as Guangzhou-Fu or Guangfu after its status as the capital of a prefecture. From this latter name, Guangzhou was known to medieval Persians such as Al-Masudi and Ibn Kordadba as Kanfu. Under the southern Han, the city was renamed Xingwang. Guangzhou Economic and Technological Development Zone, Guangzhou Nansha Export Processing Zone The Chinese abbreviation for Guangzhou is, after its nickname Rice City. The city has long borne the nickname City of Rams or City of the Five Rams from the Five Stones at the Old Temple of the Five Immortals said to have been the sheep or goats ridden by the Taoist culture heroes credited with introducing rice cultivation to the area around the time of the city's foundation. 
the former name City of the Immortals came from the same story. The more recent City of Flowers is usually taken as a simple reference to the area's greenery. The English name Canton derived from Portuguese Cantao or Cidade de Cantao, a muddling of dialectical pronunciations of Guangdong. Although it originally and chiefly applied to the walled city, it was also used in English in reference to Guangdong generally. It was adopted as the postal map romanization of Guangzhou and remained in common use until the gradual adoption of Pinyin. As an adjective, it is still used in describing the people, language, cuisine, and culture of Guangzhou and the surrounding Liangguang region. The 19th century name Kuang Chao Fu derived from Nanjing dialect of Mandarin and the town's status as a prefectural capital. A settlement now known as Nanuchen was present in the area by 1100 BC. Some traditional Chinese histories placed Nanuchen's founding during the reign of Ji Yan, King of Zhou from 314 to 56 BC. It was said to have consisted of little more than a stockade of bamboo and mud. Peña was established on the east bank of the Pearl River in 214 BC to serve as a base for the Qin Empire's first failed invasion of the Bayou lands in southern China. Legendary accounts claimed the soldiers at Peña were so vigilant that they did not remove their armor for three years. Gray, P3, upon the fall of the Qin, General Zhao Tuo established his own kingdom of Nanyu and made Peña its capital in 204 BC. It remained independent through the Chuhan contention although Zhao negotiated recognition of his independence in exchange for his nominal submission to the Han in 196 BC. Archaeological evidence shows that Peña was an expansive commercial center, in addition to items from central China, archaeologists have found remains originating from Southeast Asia, India, and even Africa. Zhao Tuo was succeeded by Zhao Emo and then Zhao Yinqi. Upon Zhao Yinqi's death in 115 BC, his younger son Zhao Xing was named as his successor in violation of Chinese primogeniture. By 113 BC, his Chinese mother, the Empress Dowager Zhu had prevailed upon him to submit Nanyu as a formal part of the Han Empire. The native Prime Minister Lu Jia launched a coup killing Han ambassadors along with the king, his mother, and their supporters. A successful ambush then annihilated a Han force which had been sent to arrest him. The enraged Emperor Wu launched a massive river and seaborne invasion, six armies under Liu Boat and Yang Piyu took Peinyu and annexed Nanyu by the end of 111 BC. Incorporated into the Han Empire, Peña became a provincial capital. In AD 226, it became the seat of Guang Prefecture, which gave it its modern name. The Old Book of Tang described Guangzhou as important port in southern China. Direct routes connected the Middle East and China, as shown in records of a Chinese prisoner returning home from Iraq 12 years after his capture at Talas. Relations were not always peaceful, Muslims sacked the city on October 30, 758 and were massacred by the Chinese rebel Huang Chao in 878, along with the city's Jews, Christians, and Parsis. Guangzhou Free Trade Zone Amid the five dynasties and ten kingdoms that followed the collapse of the Tang dynasty, the later Liang governor Lu Yan used his base at Peinyu to establish a Great Yu or Southern Han Empire, which lasted from 917 to 971. The region enjoyed considerable cultural and economic success in this period. From the 10th to 12th century, there are records that the large foreign communities were not exclusively male, but included Persian women. 
Guangzhou was visited by the Moroccan traveler Ibn Battida during his 14th century journey around the world, he detailed the process by which the Chinese constructed their large ships in the port's shipyards. Shortly after the Hongguo Emperor's declaration of the Ming Dynasty, he reversed his earlier support of foreign trade and imposed the first of a series of sea bans. These banned private foreign trade upon penalty of death for the merchant and exile for his family and neighbors. The Yuan'er maritime intendancies of Guangzhou, Chuanzhou, and Ningbo were closed in 1384 and legal trade became limited to the tribute delegations sent to or by official representatives of foreign governments. The policies exacerbated Japanese pirate attacks in the area until their removal in 1567. Cantonese language, the local and prestige variant of Yu Chinese, Cantonese cuisine, one of China's eight major culinary traditions, Cantonese opera, usually divided into martial and literary performances, Zigwan the area west of the former walled city. History Following the Portuguese conquest of Malacca, Rafael Perestrello traveled to Guangzhou as a passenger on a native junk in 1516. His report induced Fernão Pires de Andrade to sail to the city with eight ships the next year but de Andrade's exploration was understood as spying and his brother Simeo and others began attempting to monopolize trade, enslaving Chinese women and children, engaging in piracy, and fortifying the island of Taimau. Rumors even circulated that Portuguese were eating the children. The Guangzhou administration was charged with driving them off, they bested the Portuguese at the Battle of Tunmen and in Zico Bay held a diplomatic mission hostage in a failed attempt to pressure the restoration of the Sultan of Malacca, who had been accounted a Ming vassal, and, after placing them in Kangs and keeping them for most of a year, ultimately executed 23 by Lingqi. With the help of local pirates, the Falangji then carried out smuggling at Macau, Lampaco and St. John's Island, until Lionel de Souza legalized their trade with bribes to Admiral Wang Bo and the 1554 Luzu Chinese Accord. The Portuguese undertook not to raise fortifications and to pay customs dues. Three years later, after providing the Chinese with assistance suppressing their former pirate allies, the Portuguese were permitted to warehouse their goods at Macau instead of Guangzhou itself. After the fall of Fuzhou in October 1646, the Longwu Emperor's brother Zhu Yuyu fled by sea to Guangzhou. On December 11, he declared himself the Shaoyu Emperor, borrowing his imperial regalia from local theatre troops. He led a successful offence against his cousin Zhu Yalang but was deposed and executed on January 20, 1647 when the Ming turncoat Li Chengdong sacked the city on behalf of the Qing. The Qing became somewhat more open to foreign trade after gaining control of Taiwan in 1683. The Portuguese from Macau and Spaniards from Manila returned as did private Muslim, Armenian, and English traders. From 1699 to 1714, the French and British East India companies sent a ship or two each year, the Austrian Ostend General India Co. arrived in 1717, the Dutch East India Co. in 1729, the Danish Asiatic Co. in 1731, and the Swedish East India Co. the next year. These were joined by the occasional Prussian or Trieste Company vessel. The first independent American ship arrived in 1784 and the first colonial Australian one in 1788. By that time, Guangzhou was one of the world's great ports, 
organized under the Canton system. The main exports were tea and porcelain. As a meeting place of merchants from all over the world, Guangzhou became a major contributor to the rise of the modern global economy. In the 19th century, most of the city's buildings were still only one or two stories. The major structures were the plain minaret of the Huaisheng Mosque, the flower pagoda of the Temple of the Six Banyan Trees, and the guard tower known as the Five-Story Pagoda. The northern hills, since urbanized, were bare and covered with traditional graves. The brick city walls were about six miles in circumference, 25 feet high, and 20 feet wide. Its eight main gates and two water gates all held guards during the day and were closed at night. The wall rose to incorporate a hill on its northern side and was surrounded on the other three by a moat which, along with the canals, functioned as the city's sewer, emptied daily by the river's tides. A partition wall with four gates divided the northern old town from the southern new town closer to the river, the suburb of Ziguan stretched beyond and the boats of fishers, traders and tanka almost entirely concealed the riverbank for about four miles. It was common for homes to have a storefront facing the street and to treat their courtyards as a kind of warehouse. The city was part of a network of signal towers so effective that messages could be relayed to Beijing about 1,200 miles away in less than 24 hours. The Canton system was maintained until the outbreak of the First Opium War in 1839. Following a series of battles in the Pearl River Delta, the British captured Guangzhou itself on March 18, 1841. The Second Battle of Canton was fought two months later. Following the Qing Empire's 1842 treaty with Great Britain, Guangzhou lost its privileged trade status as more and more treaty ports were opened to more and more countries, usually including extraterritorial enclaves. Amid the decline of Qing prestige and the chaos of the Taiping Rebellion, the Punti and Hakka waged a series of clan wars from 1855 to 1867 in which one million people died. The concession for the Canton Hankou Railway was awarded to the American China Development Co. in 1898. It completed its branch line west to Foshan and Sanshui before being engulfed in a diplomatic crisis after a Belgian consortium bought a controlling interest and the Qing cancelled its concession. J.P. Morgan was awarded millions in damages and the line to Wuchang wasn't completed until 1936 and a unified Beijing-Guangzhou railway waited until the completion of Wuhan's Yangtze River Bridge in 1957. During the late Qing dynasty, Guangzhou was the site of failed revolts such as the uprisings of 1895 and 1911 to overthrow the Qing. The 72 rebels whose bodies were found after the latter uprising are remembered and honored as the city's 72 martyrs in the Huanghuagong Mausoleum. Prehistory Nanyu All these failed revolutionary attempts would eventually lead to the Xinhai Revolution which successfully overthrew the Qing dynasty to establish a new Han Chinese Republic. 1987 – The Sixth National Games of China 1991 – The First FIFA Women's World Cup 2001 – The 2001 National Games of China 2007 – The Eighth National Traditional Games of Ethnic Minorities of the People's Republic of China 2008 – The 49th World Table Tennis Championships 2009 – The 11th Sudirman Cup the World Badminton Mixed Team Championships Imperial China Modern China Revolutions Kuomintang Rule Communist Takeover
After the assassination of Song Jiaren and Yuan Shikai's attempts to remove nationalists from power, the leader of Guangdong Hu Hanmin joined the 1913 Second Revolution against him but was forced to flee to Japan with Sun Yat-sen after its failure. The city came under national spotlight again in 1917, when Prime Minister Duan Kair Ue's abrogation of the constitution triggered the constitutional protection movement. Sun Yat-sen came to head the Guangzhou military government supported by the members of the dissolved parliament and the southwestern warlords. The Guangzhou government fell apart as the warlords withdrew their support. Sun fled to Shanghai in November 1918 until the Guangdong warlord Chen Jiangming restored him in October 1920 during the Yuegui Wars. On June 16, 1922, Sun was ousted in a coup and fled on the warship Yongfeng after Chen sided with the hilly clique's Beijing government. In the following months Sun mounted a counterattack into Guangdong by rallying supporters from Yunnan and Guangxi, and in January established a government in the city for the third time. Guangdong Pharmaceutical University, Guangdong University of Foreign Studies, Guangdong University of Technology, Guangzhou Academy of Fine Arts, Guangzhou University, Guangzhou University of Chinese Medicine, South China Normal University, South China University of Technology, Sun Yat-sen University, Xingai Conservatory of Music. From 1923 to 1926 Sun and the Kuomintang used the city as a base to prosecute a renewed revolution in China by conquering the warlords in the north. Although Sun was previously dependent on opportunistic warlords who hosted him in the city, with the leadership of Chiang Kai-shek, the KMT developed its own military power to serve its ambition. The Canton years saw the evolution of the KMT into a revolutionary movement with a strong military focus and ideological commitment, setting the tone of the KMT rule of China beyond 1927. Guangdong Institute of Science and Technology, Guangdong Polytechnic Normal University, Guangdong University of Finance and Economics, Guangdong University of Finance, Guangzhou College of South China University of Technology, Guangzhou Medical University, Guangzhou Sports University, Jinan University, South China Agricultural University, Southern Medical University, Zhongkai University of Agriculture and Engineering. In 1924 the KMT made the momentous decision to ally with the Communist Party and the USSR. With Soviet help, KMT reorganized itself along the Leninist line and adopted a pro-labor and pro-peasant stance. The Kuomintang CCP cooperation was confirmed in the first Congress of the KMT and the Communists were instructed to join the KMT. The Allied government set up the Peasant Movement Training Institute in the city, of which Mao Zedong was a director for one term. Sun and his military commander Chang used Soviet funds and weapons to build an armed force staffed by Communist commissars training its cotters in the Wampoa Military Academy. In August, the fledgling army suppressed the Canton Merchants' Corps uprising. The next year the anti-imperialist May 30 movement swept the country, and the KMT government called for strikes in Canton and Hong Kong. The tensions of the massive strikes and protests led to the Shaky Massacre. Gallery after the death of Sun Yat-sen in 1925 the mood was changing in the party toward the communists. In August the left-wing KMT leader Liao Zongkai was assassinated and the right-wing leader Hu Hanmin, the suspected mastermind, was exiled to the Soviet Union, leaving the pro-communist Wang Jingwei in charge. Opposing communist encroachment 
the right-wing Western Hills Group vowed to expel the communists from the KMT. The Canton coup on March 20, 1926 saw Chiang solidify his control over the nationalists and their army against Wang Jingwei, the party's left wing, its communist allies, and its Soviet advisors. By May, he had ended civilian control of the military and begun his northern expedition against the warlords of the north. Its success led to the split of the KMT between Wuhan and Nanking and the purge of the communists in the Shanghai massacre. Immediately afterwards Canton joined the purge under the auspice of Li Jishin resulting in the arrest of communists and the suspension of left-wing KMT apparatuses and labor groups. Later in 1927 when Zhang Fukui, a general supportive of the Wuhan faction seized Canton and installed Wang Jingwei's faction in the city, the communists saw an opening and launched the Guangzhou Uprising. Prominent communist military leaders Ye Ting and Ye Jianying led the failed defense of the city. Soon, control of the city reverted to Li Jishan. Li was deposed in the war between Chang and Guangxi clique. By 1929, Chen Jitang had established himself as the power holder of Guangdong. In 1931 he threw his weight behind the anti-Chang schism by hosting a separate nationalist government in Guangzhou. Opposing Jiang's alleged dictatorship, the separatists included KMT leaders like Wang Jingwei, Sun Fo, and others from diverse factions. The peace negotiations amidst the armed standoff led to the Fourth National Congress of Kuomintang being held separately by three factions in Nanjing, Shanghai, and Canton. Resigning all his posts, Chang pulled off a political compromise that reunited all factions. While the INTRA party division was resolved, Chen kept his power until he was defeated by Chang in 1936. Amid the closing months of the Chinese Civil War, Guangzhou briefly served as the capital of the Republic of China after the liberation of Nanjing by the PLA in April 1949. The People's Liberation Army entered the city on October 14, 1949. Amid a massive exodus to Hong Kong and Macau, the nationalists blew up the Haizhou Bridge across the Pearl River in retreat. The Cultural Revolution had a large effect on the city with much of its temples, churches, and other monuments destroyed during this chaotic period. The People's Republic of China initiated building projects including new housing on the banks of the Pearl River to adjust the city's boat people to life on land. Since the 1980s, the city's close proximity to Hong Kong and Shenzhen and its ties to overseas Chinese have made it one of the first beneficiaries of China's opening up under Deng Xiaoping. Beneficial tax reforms in the 1990s have also helped the city's industrialization and development. The municipality was expanded in the year 2000 with Huazhou and Peinyu joining the city as urban districts and Konghua and Zhengcheng as more rural counties. The former districts of Dongshan and Fankan were abolished in 2005, merged into Yuexiu and Liwen respectively. The city acquired Nansha and Lugong. The former was carved out of Peinyu, the latter from parts of Baiyun, Tianhe, Zhengcheng, and an exclave within Huangpu. The National People's Congress approved a development plan for the Pearl River Delta in January 2009. On March 19 the same year, the Guangzhou and Foshan municipal governments agreed to establish a framework to merge the two cities. In 2014, Lugong merged into Huangpu and both Konghua and Zhengcheng counties were upgraded to districts. Guangzhou was then the most populous consolidated district-governed city in China until Beijing overtook it the next year. Newhoff's imaginative 1665 map of Canton, 
made from second-hand accounts while Europeans were still forbidden from entering the walled city. The 13 factories C1805, displaying the flags of Denmark, Spain, the United States, Sweden, Britain and the Netherlands. Geography An 1855 painting of the Gallery of Tinka, one of the most successful suppliers of export paintings for Guangzhou's foreign traders, common themes included the 13 factories, the Wampoa Anchorage, and the Sea Banner Temple. Roman S. 1860 map of the city and entire suburbs of Canton, one of the first made after the treaties of Tianjin and Beijing permitted foreigners full access to Guangzhou's walled city. Natural Resources The Flowery Pagoda at the Temple of the Six Banyan Trees in 1863 the five-story pagoda atop Uexihu Hill C1880 Climate Administrative Divisions Economy The Sacred Heart Cathedral towering over the one- and two-story homes of Old Guangzhou C1880 Street Scene in Guangzhou, 1919 the U.S. Navy's Department of Navigation's 1920 map of Canton. Sun Yat-sen and Chiang Kai-shek at the opening of the Wampoa Military Academy on June 16, 1924. The Guangzhou Bund in 1930, with rows of Tanka boats. A short film of Guangzhou in 1937. The People's Liberation Army entering Guangzhou on October 14, 1949. The old town of Guangzhou was near Baiyun Mountain on the east bank of the Pearl River about 80 miles from its junction with the South China Sea and about 300 miles below its head of navigation. It commanded the rich alluvial plain of the Pearl River Delta, with its connection to the sea protected at the Human Strait. The present city spans 7,434.4 square kilometers on both sides of the river from 112 degrees 57 minutes to 114 degrees 03 longitude and 22 degrees 26 minutes to 23 degrees 56 minutes north latitude in south central Guangdong. The Pearl is the third largest river of China. Baiyun Mountain is now locally referred to as the city's lung. The elevation of the prefecture generally increases from southwest to northeast, with mountains forming the backbone of the city and the ocean comprising the front. Tiantang Peak is the highest point of elevation at 1,210 meters above sea level. There are 47 different types of minerals and also 820 ore fields in Guangzhou, including 18 large and medium-sized oil deposits. The major minerals are granite, cement limestone, ceramic clay, potassium, albite, salt mine, marabolite, nepheline, cyanite, fluorite, marble, mineral water, and geothermal mineral water. Since Guangzhou is located in the water-rich area of southern China, it has a wide water area with lots of rivers and water systems, accounting for 10% of the total land area. The rivers and streams improve the landscape and keep the ecological environment of the city stable. Despite being located just south of the Tropic of Cancer, Guangzhou has a humid subtropical climate influenced by the East Asian monsoon. Summers are wet with high temperatures, high humidity, and a high heat index. Winters are mild and comparatively dry. Guangzhou has a lengthy monsoon season, spanning from April through September. Monthly averages range from 13.6 degrees Celsius in January to 28.6 degrees Celsius in July, while the annual mean is 22.6 degrees Celsius. Autumn, 
from October to December, is very moderate, cool and windy, and is the best travel time. The relative humidity is approximately 68%, whereas annual rainfall in the metropolitan area is over 1,700 mm. With monthly percent possible sunshine ranging from 17% in March and April to 52% in November, the city receives 1,628 hours of bright sunshine annually, considerably less than nearby Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Extreme temperatures have ranged from 0 degrees Celsius to 39.1 degrees Celsius. The last recorded snowfall in the city was on January 24, 2016, 87 years after the second last recorded snowfall. Guangzhou is a sub-provincial city. It has direct jurisdiction over 11 districts. Guangzhou is the main manufacturing hub of the Pearl River Delta, one of mainland China's leading commercial and manufacturing regions. In 2013, the GDP reached 1,542 billion yen, per capita was 120,515 yen. Guangzhou is considered one of the most prosperous cities in China. But due to rapid industrialization, it is also considered one of the most polluted cities. The Canton Fair, formerly the China Import and Export Fair, is held every year in April and October by the Ministry of Trade. Inaugurated in the spring of 1957, the fair is a major event for the city. It is the trade fair with the longest history, highest level, largest scale in China. From the 104th session onwards, the fair moved to the new Guangzhou International Convention and Exhibition Center in Pazhu, from the older complex in Liuhua. The Jisek is served by two stations on Metro Line 8. Since the 104th session, the Canton Fair has been arranged in three phases instead of two phases. Guangzhou is one of the largest hubs of China's illegal drug trade. Guangzhou Skyline The former Canton Fair site at Uxiu's Liuhua Complex A display at the current Canton Fair site in Pazhu Guangzhou Peugeot Automobile Company produced the Peugeot 504 and Peugeot 505 automobiles from 1989 to 1997. The export processing zone was founded in 2005. Its total planned area is 1.36 km2. It is located in Nansha District and it belongs to the provincial capital, Guangzhou. The major industries encouraged in the zone include automobile assembly, biotechnology, and heavy industry. It is situated 54 kilometers south of Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport and close to Nansha Port. It also has the advantage of Guangzhou Metro Line 4 which is being extended to Nansha Ferry Terminal. The zone was founded in 1992. It is located in the east of Huangpu district and near to Guangzhou Economic and Technological Development Zone. It is also very close to Guangzhou Baiyun Airport. The major industries encouraged in the zone include international trade, logistics, processing and computer software. The 2010 census found Guangzhou's population to be 12.78 million. As of 2014, it was estimated at 13,080,500, with 11,264,800 urban residents. Its population density is thus around 1,800 people per km2. The built-up area of the Guangzhou proper connects directly to several other cities. 
The built-up area of the Pearl River Delta Economic Zone covers around 17,573 square kilometers and has been estimated to house 22 million people, including Guangzhou's nine urban districts, Shenzhen, Dongguan, Zhongshan, most of Foshan, Jiangmen, Zhuhai, and Huizhu's Huiyang district. The total population of this agglomeration is over 28 million after including the population of the adjacent Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. The area's fast-growing economy and high demand for labor has produced a huge floating population of migrant workers. Up to 10 million migrants reside in the area at least six months each year. In 2008, about 5 million of Guangzhou's permanent residents were Hukaulis migrants. Most of Guangzhou's population is Han Chinese. Almost all of the local Cantonese people speak Cantonese as their first language, while most migrants speak forms of Mandarin. In 2010, each language was the native tongue of roughly half of the city's population, although minor but substantial numbers speak other varieties as well. As with elsewhere in the People's Republic of China, the household registration system limits migrants' access to residences, educational institutions, and other public benefits. In May 2014, Legally employed migrants in Guangzhou were permitted to receive a Hukou card allowing them to marry and obtain permission for their pregnancies in the city, rather than having to return to their official hometowns as previously. Historically, the Cantonese people have made up a sizable part of the 19th and 20th century Chinese diaspora and many overseas Chinese have ties to Guangzhou. This is particularly true in the United States, Canada, and Australia. Demographically, the only significant immigration into China has been by overseas Chinese, but Guangzhou sees many foreign tourists, workers, and residents from the usual locations such as the United States. Notably, it is also home to thousands of African immigrants, including people from Nigeria, Angola, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The encompassing metropolitan area was estimated by the OECD to have, as of 2010, a population of 25 million. When the first line of the Guangzhou Metro opened in 1997, Guangzhou was the fourth city in mainland China to have an underground railway system, behind Beijing, Tianjin, and Shanghai. Currently the metro network is made up of 13 lines, covering a total length of 390.7 kilometers. A long-term plan is to make the city's metro system expand to over 500 kilometers by 2020 with 15 lines in operation. In addition to the metro system there is also the Haizhou tram line which opened on December 31, 2014. The Guangzhou Bus Rapid Transit System which was introduced in 2010, along Zhongshan Road. It has several connections to the metro and is the world's second largest bus rapid transit system with 1 million passenger trips daily. It handles 26,900 pph PD during the peak hour a capacity second only to the Transmilenio BRT system in Bogota. The system averages one bus every 10 seconds or 350 per hour in a single direction and contains the world's longest BRT stations around 260 m including bridges. In the 19th century, city already boasted over 600 long, straight streets, these were mostly paved but still very narrow. In June 1919, work began on demolishing the city wall to make way for wider streets and the development of tramways. The demolition took three years in total. In 2009, 
it was reported that all 9,424 buses and 17,695 taxis in Guangzhou would be operating on LPG fuel by 2010 to promote clean energy for transport and improve the environment ahead of the 2010 Asian Games which were held in the city. At present, Guangzhou is the city that uses the most LPG-fueled vehicles in the world, and at the end of 2006, 6,500 buses and 16,000 taxis were using LPG, taking up 85% of all buses and taxis. Effective January 1, 2007, the municipal government banned motorcycles in Guangdong's urban areas. Motorcycles found violating the ban are confiscated. The Guangzhou Traffic Bureau claimed to have reported reduced traffic problems and accidents in the downtown area since the ban. Guangzhou's main airport is the Baiyun International Airport in Baiyun District. It opened on August 5, 2004. This airport is the second busiest airport in terms of traffic movements in China. It replaced the old Baiyun International Airport, which was very close to the city center but failed to meet the city's fast-growing air traffic demand. The old Baiyun International Airport was in operation for 72 years. Guangzhou Baiyun International Airport now has three runways, with two more planned. The Terminal 2 is under construction and will open in 2018. Guangzhou is the terminus of the Beijing Guangzhou, Guangzhou Shenzhen, Guangzhou Maoming and Guangzhou Miyazhu Shantou conventional speed railways. In late 2009, the Wuhan Guangzhou High Speed Railway started service, with multiple unit trains covering 980 km at a top speed of 320 km per hour. In December 2014, the Giyang Guangzhou High Speed Railway and Nanning Guangzhou Railway began service with trains running at top speeds of 250 km per hour and 200 km per hour, respectively. The Guangdong through train departs from the Guangzhou East Railway Station and arrives at the Hung Hom KCR Station in Kowloon, Hong Kong. The route is approximately 182 km in length and the ride takes less than two hours. Frequent coach services are also provided with coaches departing every day from different locations around the city. A number of regional railways radiating from Guangzhou started operating such as the Guangzhou Zuhai Intercity Railway and the Guangzhou Zaoking Intercity Railway. There are daily high-speed catamaran services between Nancha Ferry Terminal and Lianhua Shan Ferry Terminal in Guangzhou and the Hong Kong China Ferry Terminal, as well as between Nancha Ferry Terminal and Macau Ferry Pier in Hong Kong. Gongai Yuanqin Station of the Guangzhou Metro Tianhe Sports Center Station Baiyun International Airport in Huazhou District Local products ACRH 3 train at Guangzhou South Railway Station Within China, the culture of the Cantonese people is a subset of the larger southern or Lingnan cultural areas. Notable aspects of Guangzhou's cultural heritage include the Guangzhou Opera House and Symphony Orchestra also perform classical Western music and Chinese compositions in their style. Cantonese music is a traditional style of Chinese instrumental music, while cantopop is the local form of pop music and rock and roll which developed from neighboring Hong Kong. Qing era Guangzhou had around 124 religious pavilions, halls, and temples. Today, in addition to the Buddhist Association, Guangzhou also has a Taoist Association, a Jewish community, and a history with Christianity and Islam. Taoism and Chinese folk religion are still represented at a few of the city's temples. 
Among the most important is the Temple of the Five Immortals, honoring the Five Immortals credited with introducing rice cultivation at the foundation of the city. The five rams they rode were supposed to have turned into stones upon their departure and gave the city several of its nicknames. Another place of worship is the city god temple. Guangzhou, like most of southern China, is also notably observant concerning ancestral veneration during occasions like the tomb sweeping and ghost festivals. Industry Buddhism is the most prominent religion in Guangzhou. The Zhizi Temple was founded in AD 233, from the estate of a Wu official, it is said to comprise the residence of Zhao Jiande, the last of the Nanyu kings, and has been known as the Guangxiao Temple since the Ming. The missionary Bodhidharma is traditionally said to have visited Panya during the Lu Song or Liang dynasties. Around AD 520, Emperor Wu of the Liang ordered the construction of the Bay's Wanjian Temple and the Zilla Monastery to store the relics of Cambodian Buddhist saints which had been brought to the city and to house the monks beginning to assemble there. The Bay's Wanjian is now known as the Temple of the Six Banyan Trees, after a famous poem composed by Suashi after a visit during the Northern Song. The Zilla Monastery was renamed the Hualan Temple after its reconstruction during the Qing. The temples were damaged by both the Republican campaign to promote education with temple property and the Maoist Cultural Revolution but have been renovated since the opening up that began in the 1980s. The Ocean Banner Temple on Henan Island once famous in the West as the only tourist spot in Guangzhou accessible to foreigners, has been reopened as the Hoi Tong Monastery. Science City Nestorian Christians first arrived in China via the Overland Silk Road, but suffered during Emperor Wuzong's 845 persecution and were essentially extinct by the year 1000. The Qing era ban on foreigners limited missionaries until it was abolished following the First Opium War although the Protestant Robert Morrison was able to perform some work through his service with the British factory. The Catholic Archdiocese is housed at Guangzhou's Sacred Heart Cathedral, known locally as the Stone House. A Gothic revival edifice which was built by hand from 1861 to 1888 under French direction, its original Latin and French stained glass windows were destroyed during the wars and amid the Cultural Revolution, they have since been replaced by English ones. The Canton Christian College and Hackett Medical College for Women were both founded by missionaries and now form part of Guangzhou's Lingnan. Since the opening up of China in the 1980s, there has been renewed interest in Christianity but Guangzhou maintains pressure on underground churches which avoid registration with government officials. The Catholic Archbishop Dominic Tang was imprisoned without trial for 22 years, but his present successor is recognized by both the Vatican and China's Patriotic Church. Guangzhou has had a Muslim community since very early in the history of Islam. The native or not evised adherents of the faith are known as the Huai. Huai Sheng Mosque was probably built during the Tang Dynasty. Muslims sacked the city in 758 and were massacred by the Chinese rebel Huang Chao in 878, along with the Jews, Christians, and Parsis. The modern city includes numerous halal restaurants. Malls and pedestrian streets Demographics Guangzhou's Temple of the Five Immortals The Hall of the Five Hundred Arhuts at the Flowery Forest Temple in the 1870s The Temple of Bright Filial Piety Ethnicity Metropolitan Area Transportation Urban Mass Transit Motor Transport Airports 
Railways Water Transport Culture Religions Daoism Buddhism Christianity Islam Sport Destinations Guangzhou City God Temple The Sacred Pigs of the Ocean Banner Temple in the 1830s The Flower Pagoda at the Temple of the Six Banyan Trees The Thousand Buddha Tower at the present-day Hoitong Monastery Sacred Heart Cathedral Huaisheng Mosque and its Plain Pagoda Minaret in 1860 The 18,000-seat Guangzhou International Sports Arena will be one of the venues for the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup. From 12-27 November 2010, Guangzhou hosted the 16th Asian Games. The same year, it hosted the first Asian Para Games from December 12 to 19. Combined, these were the largest sporting events the city ever hosted. 8 Views Guangzhou also hosted the following major sporting events. Current professional sports clubs based in Guangzhou include Guangzhou Evergrande Dobeo FC has risen in recent years to be a powerhouse in association football in China, having won seven consecutive national titles between 2011 and 2017. The team also won the AFC Champions League in 2013 and 2015. The club competed in the 2013 FIFA Club World Cup where it lost 3-0 in the semi-final stage to the 2012-13 UEFA Champions League winners FC Bayern Munich. Parks and Gardens The eight views of Ram City are Guangzhou's eight most famous tourist attractions. They have varied over time since the Song Dynasty, with some being named or demoted by emperors. The following modern list was chosen through public appraisal in 2011. The Pearl River at Hian Bridge Tourist Attractions Zhujiang New City from Pakwan or Baiyun Mountain A brick carving at the Guangzhou Folk Art Museum, housed in the Chen Clan Ancestral Hall Major Buildings Guangzhou attracts more than 100 million visitors each year. There are many tourist attractions, including Canton Custom House, one of the oldest surviving in China. Icon Hotel, Guangzhou's tallest building from 1937 to 1967. Our Lady of Lords Chapel on Shamian. Media the Canton Cement Factory, which housed Sun Yat-sen from 1923 to 1925. The Old Provincial Capital, now the Museum of Revolutionary History. Education Guangzhou CBD, including the IFC. International Relations Guangzhou has two local radio stations the provincial radio Guangdong and the municipal radio Guangzhou. Together they broadcast in more than a dozen channels. The primary language of both stations is Cantonese. Traditionally only one channel of radio Guangdong is dedicated to Mandarin Chinese. However, in recent years there has been an increase in Mandarin programs on most Cantonese channels. Radio stations from cities around Guangzhou mainly broadcast in Cantonese and can be received in different parts of the city, depending on the radio station's locations and transmission power. The Beijing-based China National Radio also broadcasts Mandarin programs in the city. Radio Guangdong has a 30-minute weekly English program, Guangdong Today 
which is broadcast globally through the World Radio Network. Daily English news programs are also broadcast by Radio Guangdong. Twin Towns and Sister Cities Guangzhou has some of the best Chinese-language newspapers and magazines in mainland China, most of which are published by three major newspaper groups in the city, the Guangzhou Daily Press Group, Nanfang Press Corporation, and the Yangcheng Evening News Group. The two leading newspapers of the city are Guangzhou Daily and Southern Metropolis Daily. The former, with a circulation of 1.8 million, has been China's most successful newspaper for 14 years in terms of advertising revenue, while Southern Metropolis Daily is considered one of the most liberal newspapers in mainland China. In addition to Guangzhou's Chinese-language publications, there are a few English magazines and newspapers. The most successful is That's Guangzhou, which started more than a decade ago and has since blossomed into That's PRD, producing expatriate magazines in Beijing and Shanghai as well. It also produces in the red. Notes Citations The Guangzhou Higher Education Mega Center also known as Guangzhou University Town, is a large tertiary education complex located in the southeast suburbs of Guangzhou. It occupies the entirety of Xiaogui Island in Peña District, covering an area of about 18 square kilometers. The complex accommodates campuses from 10 higher education institutions and can eventually accommodate up to 200,000 students, 20,000 teachers, and 50,000 staff. Bibliography The Guangzhou Higher Education Mega Center Higher Education Campuses Guangzhou's other fully accredited and degree-granting universities and colleges include the two main comprehensive libraries are Guangzhou Library and Sun Yat-sen Library of Guangdong Province. Guangzhou Library is a public library in Guangzhou. The library has moved to a new building in Zhejiang New Town, which fully opened on June 23, 2013. Sun Yat-sen Library of Guangdong Province has the largest collection of ancient books in southern China. Guangzhou currently maintains sister city agreements with the following foreign cities. Lingdingjiang A direct controlled municipalities. B. Subprovincial cities as provincial capitals. C. Separate state planning cities. 1. Special economic zone cities. 2. Coastal development cities. Three prefecture capital status established by Heilongjiang province and not recognized by Ministry of Civil Affairs. Disputed by Orokan Autonomous Banner, Hulunbir, Inner Mongolia as part of it, for only administers islands and waters in South China Sea and have no urban core comparable to typical cities in China. 5. The claimed province of Taiwan no longer have any internal division announced by Ministry of Civil Affairs of PRC, due to lack of actual jurisdiction. See Template Administrative Divisions of the Republic of China instead.